Let me just go, what is Poxag stand for? Let me just Google that. Poc sag, what does it stand for? Hi hey YouTube, M6CB, back again with another video. Well, or should I say, 2 Echo Zero Foxtrot November Mike, I'm still getting used to that uh, that call sign, so it's taking, taking a bit of time to get used to. Um, but yeah, today we wanted to do something a little bit different, really. Um, as you may or may not know, back in the 90s you could listen to the fire brigade, the police, uh, life was good, uh, as I say, I used to go around, uh, I used to have a little moped, uh, back when I was 16, I used to have the earpiece in, I used to go all around, uh, still remember all the frequencies in my head, what an amazing time, but as you may or may not know, they've all gone uh, digital now, so, you know, Tetra is what the police use, and you, you just can't listen to it anymore. Uh, you can decode Tetra, uh, open Tetra, that's not really an issue at all, um, but the actual police have completely encrypted it and it's been 20, over 20 years now uh, and no one's encrypted it, uh, decrypted it yet that I know of, so uh, who knows, we'll see. But you can still listen, or you can't listen, but you can still get messages from pages. So you can still, in effect, eavesdrop on the police, ambulance and fire service. Now, obviously I don't do this, and I don't condone that you do it, but it is possible. Um, and it's basically all to do with pages. Now, the paging uh, system used is called POCSAG, which stands for so Post Office Code Standardization Advisory Group. Now, it's a type of paging, really, um, and a lot of the police, uh, fire brigade, um, uh, ambulance especially, um, get their jobs uh, not via radio but via paging system so you can sort of eavesdrop on uh, doctors in the hospital you could uh, listen to you know eavesdrop on the get intercept the messages from the fire brigade um, all that kind of stuff so you can still do it and today I'm going to show you how you do it obviously I won't show you uh, the frequencies I mean if you really wanted to do that kind of, because Poxai can do what the, it's a generalization paging uh, thing. So obviously on legal side of it, it's a bit iffy. Um, so I don't, you know, look into it for yourself. It's more of a just an information video. Uh, but basically what you need is one of these. Now it's just a USB SDR RTL dongle. Now you can get these for, for really, really cheap money. I mean, I think this one, I'll double check and I'll leave the links in the description, but it was about 20 quid um, for this little dongle. Now this little uh, wire here, it came with like a, a little antenna that comes that comes on the dongle. Now, so obviously, to, I've got a proper uh, collinear on the roof, so I got this little adapter that goes into a, an SO239 socket, so I can put my PL259 into it uh, and get like stronger signals. Um, and I have absolutely no issues at all getting the signals. Uh, but we'll have a look at that. But yeah, 20 quid just goes into your USB of your PC. Uh, it's nothing new, there's videos out there, you know, have a look at other videos. Yeah, nothing new, so have a look for yourself at different bits and pieces, but uh, the software for it's all free. Uh, it calls something called SDR Sharp, so I'll show you how I installed SDR Sharp. I'll show you the user guide that I used to go through the setup. Uh, and then the software we used to decode, Poxac, is called PDW, so I'll have a look at that too. So, without further ado, let's begin. <laughs> So you've got your dongle, so what do we do now? So as I say, I'll leave links in the description for everything you're gonna need, so always check there. I'll try and put as much information as I can. Now there's different types of dongle, so I think this one was just the cheapest one, so it's about 20 quid, it might even be cheaper than that, so uh, check the description. Uh, but there's also uh, um, higher end ones you can get. Uh, there's one that's silver in color, I'll leave the link in the description, and that one is better, and that's about, uh, that could be 20 or 30 quid. Anyway, so I'm, I'm, I'm waiting here. So anyway, check the description for where you can buy these from. So you've got your dongle, so now what do you do? Right, so basically, I followed this guide. Now don't worry, that the video doesn't end there, like read for yourself, I, I'll go through it with you. Um, so, we, I use this, this guide here. So obviously it goes here. Yeah, it says where you can buy them from. Uh, about 20 US dollars, as I say, I'll leave the links in the description. So yeah, I went through this and it says that you need net 4.6 or newer, so I've already gone through that, uh, and visual C++ runtime, so I've already done that as well, so um, I'll leave the link in the description for this, 
guide so you can follow this. Uh, and then it says basically head over to Air Spy, so uh, here, uh, and then you would click this download uh, button here, uh, download the package, obviously it'll download it to your computer, um, and then you basically extract the, the zip, so it leaves you a folder. Now I've done mine on my desktop, so if I just show you now, so if I go to my desktop now, you can see I have uh, SDR Sharp there, so I have everything here. Now, if you follow this instruction, well, I'll just do it briefly. I mean, follow it for yourself when you do it. But it basically, um, there's an install, um, an install RTS, RT, an install RTL SDR bat file, uh, batch file that will be in here. You double click that, and then basically it gives you, in a nutshell, it gives you this thing called Zagdig. And uh, so you basically open that, run it as administrator just to be safe. I don't need to do that now because I've already done it. But this is how you install the drivers for this. Um, so obviously if you plug this into your computer before you've done this, um, then it will either install the wrong drivers or it won't even know what it is. So just follow this guide, uh, inst open this Zagdig, uh, install the drivers for it, um, as it says on here. And then basically plug in your dongle, uh, sorry, then use Zagdig. Uh, list all devices. It goes through it as you can see on the screen here and then replace driver uh, blah de blah de blah and then it tells you open SDR sharp um, list the device etc etc. So what we'll do um, is we'll plug this in. So what I'll do now is I'm going to put my big antenna on it so it's now going to get some signals like so so, sorry if I'm banging around. There we go. And you could hear the beep then. Now, I've already got my uh, all my programs and everything installed already. So, basically, what you do is you open Poxag. Uh, sorry, you, you open SDR Sharp. So, I've just clicked on my SDR Sharp now. Now, I'm going to have to blur this frequency out. I mean, I would leave it for you. I mean, if you really want to know the frequencies that we're talking about. If, I don't condone this whole listening to the ambulance service, fire brigade, police. The frequencies are out there. If you want to do that, have a look for yourself. You know, they're easy to come across. All I'll say is they're around 150 megahertz, around there somewhere. But who knows, because I've never tried it. So, you know, search for yourself. But I'll blur this out. Um, obviously, you know, use a bit of common sense when, you, when you're doing it. Um, not that I'm probably doing it right now. But anyway, so you just press the start button. But first of all, you select what dongle it is. Uh, press the play button and as you can see now um, I'm on let me do da, 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 whatever frequency I happen to be on you can see this is what Poxag looks like um, I don't know if I can um, let me see if I can show you basically you can see Poxag because it's got these two peaks if you're looking at these signals jumping up you can see they've got like two it's like this so it's got a peak on either end and then a, a smaller bit inside you can see it on these peaks that are coming up and that's what Poxag looks like. So now we've got the, uh, we've got Poxag coming through. So we, we can hear it. It's, it's just as a digital noise. I mean, if we listen to it, let me see if we can, uh, uh, da, 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 let me see what we can get uh, some audio through. Now I've got mine coming through. Da, 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 I need to change the device. Right. Hopefully this is cool. Right. So that's what Poxag sounds like. Not a very nice sound, but you don't need the sound. Well, you do need the sound, but you, you don't need to listen to it all day, so don't worry about that. Um, but yeah, this is what... That's what Poxag sounds like. So you've basically got SDR Sharp, got Poxag running, so now what do we do? We, do, well, we need to decode that, those audio tones, into um, basic numbers and letters, basically. So there you go. That's Poxag. So right, we've got that going on the side now, so we'll just stop that for a minute. Now, you need to go and download PDW. I'll leave a link in the description of where you can get it from. Uh, you don't really have to worry. Um, but it's basically this one. I think it was version version 3.2 there. You can see it's sort of greyed out a little bit from where I've already downloaded it. Um, so you just download that. Install it like you would any other program. There's nothing complicated to install in it. And then this is basically what you get. Let me just go on to my other screen. Let me try and get it on this screen. Right, so this is PDW now. Um, so we'll just go over a couple of the basic settings, really. Because um, obviously you need to... Um, oh, yeah, one more thing you probably will need to do, and I forgot about that, is include something... Uh, download something called VB Cable. 
Now, I forgot about that. I haven't got my glasses on. I should wear them, really, but uh, it is what it is. So you need something called VB Cable. Uh, hit, I'll leave the links in the description for it. So just download, install that, dead straightforward, but you need that. Because that basically um, tell, it sends the audio from SDR Sharp, where you can hear that noise, into uh, PDW, where it'll decode it. So we've got PDW open now. So let's just have a quick look at some settings. I've also got a PDF. Um, a good friend of mine, um, basically, who helped me out, wrote me some instructions out on, on, on a thing. So I've PDF scanned it. So if anyone really wants to know that, just give me a shout. Or I might put it on my website um, and then leave a link in the description where you can, where you can download it from. Um, but in a nutshell, it'll cover everything I'm covering now anyway, so don't worry. So you want to go to Setup now. And you want to click sound card. Um, and now I've cut discriminator one on the 44100 sample rate. Uh, and then this is where you want to point it to your virtual audio cable. Where we downloaded VB cable just a minute ago, or where I pointed you to it, this is what it'll do. It'll give you a, a source, a virtual cable. So you want to select that and press OK. So that's that side of it done. That's pretty much it. So now options. If we go to options, you can click here, enable Poxag decoding. Now, you can decode 512 and 2400, but I just find 1200 is basically everything you need to see. If you want to tick them all, tick them all, but 1200 seems to work for me. Uh, and then if you just go to the general setting here, um, I've selected it to filter out duplicate messages. Does it work? No, it doesn't. It still gives me duplicate messages, but it is what it is. You know, you just have to filter through it, but it's not a problem. It just gives you sometimes five of the same message so i'll tell you what i'm going to do while we while we're doing this thing i'll set um let me let me set that off actually i'm going to have to point it to that virtual audio cable right get that set off again now poxag should be running now over in this corner of poxag you can see this little needle here now, when it gets a good signal, it'll go all the way to the right. It's not a, a, a proper meter as such. When it goes all the way to the right, you're good to go. It's going to be around there somewhere. Don't you know? Don't worry about it. And it does take a few minutes to settle down. That's why I thought I'll set it off now because it, you know, it all gets a bit muddled for a few minutes first. Um, but it is what it is. So we've gone to interface setup. We've done options and general. You can set up an email so that it will email you when you get alerts. Now. I've not managed to get this to work, but I've not really tried too hard, but uh, you can do it. Now, you can set up filters. Now, this top window is where all your information is going to come. So, this top box is where all your information is going to come, and then this bottom box is where your filtered messages will go. So, say you're listening to a, a, a main station of, uh, I don't know, a main Poxag frequency, and it's from all over the country. You can put your town, like Blackpool, Preston, wherever you happen to be, uh, and then it'll filter um, those messages. When it picks up that word, it'll bob them in the bottom box. Uh, and you can also make text files so it, you can kind of refer and keep a log. So you can keep this running all day and then just have a look, a look at it later. You know, it kind of saves it all for you. Because uh, obviously you don't want to... This top bar constantly is changing, whereas the bottom filtered uh, ones ones you've obviously filtered so uh, the filter list it brings up this window here now I've got a few filters there so if I just click on, on one of mine say Wharton um, so I don't want it to reject it I want it to save it so you, you, you basically use this drop it's grayed out for me now because I've already set this one up I'll tell you what let's start another one so you'd go add right now you basically want to use this drop down and use text now you'd put the text as whatever you wanted so if you lived in Plymouth you'd put Plymouth and when it picks that word up, it's going to filter it for you. Um, so that's Plymouth, like that. Just, just, just for an example. Then you'd put, uh, you could send an email, monitor only. Now, how did I set that up? Did I go on monitor only? Da, 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 let me just go. See, I've got it sending an email, but I didn't. It doesn't work for me. So yeah, you basically want it like that. So yeah, basically that's how you do it. So you just double click it, sort of follow this, and you can label it to say next village, whatever you want to, whatever you want to do. Uh, cancel that off, um, and then you want to go uh, filter options. Um, I mean, as I'm flicking through it, just have a look at what I, my settings are, and just kind of copy them, and you'll be fine. Um, so yeah, filter uh, file output, so you can select where where your files are gonna go. 
Um, and this is where you want to monitor. So you can choose Poxag Flex, um, all these other options. Now that I just leave it on Poxag because that's what we're doing. But it will decode other things as well. Um, and you obviously can, you can change your, your font sizes and everything. As I say, it's more in this PDF. I mean, I've got the paperwork here. Um, now, this paperwork's all been written out for me here. Um, as I say, if you, if you want that, I'll probably put it on the website. I'll leave a link in the description so you can follow that like I've done letter, you know, word for word. So basically, it's now receiving and we should be getting something through, but we're not. Now, why are we not? Uh, virtual audio cable is coming through there now is it coming through there ah, I think I had it muted I had it muted on SDR sharp because it was coming through my speakers but uh, I've selected that running now so we should start getting some signals coming through soon um, so yeah yeah you see the meters gone over there you see the so here we go we've got some bits coming through now so uh, as I say here we go uh, we've got cardiac arrest, um, you know, and it does give addresses and stuff as well, which is, uh, you know, just use common sense when you're, when you're watching it, uh, when you're reading it through. And as I say, there's so many different pox ags out there. Uh, but yeah, see, it's repeating that cardiac arrest over and over again. Um, yeah, so that, that's basically what it'll do. And then every time it picks something up, it'll just keep filtering it. Uh, and then obviously when it picks up your filtered words, it puts them in this bottom section, which obviously is going to go at a slower rate than the top. Uh, and that's basically how you decode Poxag. So yeah, as you can see, some more stuff's coming through here. I mean, I'm going to blur this out. So ineffective breathing, can't breathe, um, Manchester, y you know, you get the idea. But uh, there's loads of different stuff, uh, ambulance fire and all sorts of stuff. So hope you found this useful. As I say, this is... Uh, just an informational video it's not something i recommend you go out there and do it's just information if you wanted to have a look and or learn about how it's done then this video is for you uh, but as i say, i don't condone the use of uh, listening to these frequencies as i say there's loads of different frequencies out there so um you know check for yourself make your you know do your own research but uh, Thank you very much for watching. So, thank you very much for watching. I really, really hope you've enjoyed that. That's a, a good look at uh, how to decode Poxag uh, using an RTL SDR dongle. So, I really, really hope you, you've liked the video. So, as you might have noticed on this video, my new call sign emblem in the bottom corner of the video. So, yeah, big shout out to Marcel who, does my, who did my call sign emblem. I'll leave his contact details in the description. So, send him an email, message, whatever. Uh, on Facebook um, and he will sort you out an emblem you know just uh, just have a chat with him about it but yeah he's, he's, they're all he's done loads now so uh, yeah I wanted to give him a big shout out so big shout out to you Marcel uh, thank you for doing my logo uh, on my uh, that I use for my website and all sorts of stuff so yeah yeah big shout out to you uh, and a big shout out to Gaz now Gaz is my uh, best mate um, and he pointed out to me on my last video of the DX Commander he helped me set that whole thing up. Uh, obviously Wayne as well, g 0 HIJ. we set it up and tuned it all at his house. Um, but the actual antenna at my house, um, we had to throw some coax over the roof uh, without ladders. Um, so we've got like a little lean-to roof here. So Gaz uh, got out here and, and lobbed the coax over and helped me set it up. So uh, a good day's worth of, of help from Gaz there. And he did mention to me, you didn't mention me in your video last time. So big shout out to you Gaz. Thank you very much for uh, for all your help with that, mate. I really, really appreciate it. And to Kirsty as well. Um, she was uh, doing some good uh, holding of wire and holding of little bits and pieces and even holding onto the antenna while we were uh, guying it down. So, uh, yeah, really, really appreciate it. So, I really hope you've enjoyed the video. As I say, leave your comments below. I'll always read them. I'll always reply to them. Uh, don't forget to leave the uh, video a like or a dislike if you didn't like it. And if you haven't already please subscribe. So if that subscribe button is red, you want to click that, make that go grey, and then we're happy days. So, yeah, it's been a while. I've not done a video for four weeks, but uh, here we go. Better late than never. So, I've been 2E0 Fox November Mike, or M6CEB, and you've been very kind to watch. 73. Whoa.